Hi, it's Nina. I just wanted to do a quick little bonus read for us for this weekend. And uh, so I'm just going to use these uh, oak and ash and thorn uh, cards, which are called, just a second here, they are called the Three Trees Tarot. They are really beautiful and I just got them in the mail yesterday and I just wanted to do a quick reading on them uh, for you guys. So just a quick bonus read for the weekend I was thinking. Okay, so let's see what is in store for us all. This is of course a general reading for everyone. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And um, so this can be about family it can be about love it can be about your passion it can be about work as well it can uh, be about your spiritual path oh, too close there and you know pretty much anything so you have to adjust it to where you are right now and what you need to know more about so uh, try and focus in on what you would like to what you would like to have an answer on okay and then um, see what pops up for you Okay, so I'm just going to shuffle these a little bit and then see what pops out by itself. Do not want to pull cards for this one. See what oh, the Spirit Guides wants to tell us. Okay, it was two right there. Okay, I'll see what we got right there. So overall energies for the weekend ahead. General reading. So let's see what we have here. Okay. The Nine of Pentacles. Whoa, it's a nice card. Nine of Pentacles, of course, the um, uh, Pentacles is the Earth element, and Nine of Pentacles is personal um, success and personal happiness and uh, abundance, actually. So that's a positive card. And then we have Page of Cups. Uh, page is something that's new, that's inspiring, that's uh, the beginning of something. And cups is, of course, the water element, which is the motion. So there might be an offering of love, someone coming in with some sort of offering, emotional offering to you. Okay, and then the next card is page again, page of pentacles. So again, someone coming in with an offering or something starting up new um pentacles again is the earth element and it can also be about health it can be about work it can be about your spiritual growth um so two pentacle cards so far let's see what we have here ten of cups i'm just gonna put that up there ten of cups again with the cups and ten is happy family actually uh, you see there's a family here, a mom and dad and, and two little ones and uh, abundance with all the food around them. So so this is also an abundance card. I must say these were very positive. And also the chariot. Wow. The chariot comes, that's a major arcana card. And that comes in with passion, with um, uh, yeah action. It's an action card. It's also about direction. You know, in the original tarot, it's um, a carriage that comes in with two big horses, but they are slightly moving in different directions. So it, the chariot is about barging ahead, but also about finding your direction and making sure that you know which way to take. So <clears throat> looking at these cards right away, I must say that these are extremely positive cards. Uh, two of them in the water element, which is emotional, and two of them in um the earth element and with these two together uh, it will either have something to do with passionate work or love and health it could be a, a combination together uh, and with the major arcana card uh, of the chariot i have a feeling that there's some sort of action taking place either you're invited to take some action or you are actually um experiencing uh some sort of action in the field that you are in right now or or in where you are having your focus and two of the cards here are, are great abundance cards fulfillment cards happy prosperity and two of them are the beginning of something 
an invitation, something new coming in. So, um, of course, you have to adjust this to where you are and what you are experiencing at this time. But uh, to me, it seems like uh, there is definitely something nice coming into you, something being offered to you that will give great abundance and and happiness. Uh, but they are also encouraging you to make sure that you are sure you know that you have made the right choice or that you are making the right choice or that you are going in the right direction here okay i'm going to pull a couple more cards here see what pops up so what else do we need to know for the weekend spirit gate guides angels what else do we need to know for the weekend anything else you would like to tell us oh there's a couple that pop right up there okay so four of cups again with the cups here a lot of cups cards okay a four of cups is normally someone who is failing to see what's right in front of them. They are focusing too much on uh, what is lacking instead of what is abundance. See here it's with a, with a butterfly and everything and these are kind of uh, being emptied. So it's about focusing on what's giving to you. In the original tarot there's a hand coming out of nowhere <laughs> with an offering. So it's it could also be an offer from, from the spiritual realm to you that you are not exactly uh, seeing at the moment so you're not uh, putting your attention to what is given to you but more attention to what you are lacking and that might have something to do with this card as well that if you were not sure which direction then you might not have seen what was offered to you and so you're not sure what direction to take so that might be significant for some of you now the last card here is five of swords and five of swords is <clears throat> excuse me is it can be significant for someone who is in uh, a, a struggle mentally uh, or in a quarrel it can be uh, a disagreement but it can also be you disagreeing with yourself you know where you are uh, doubting something you know especially with, if it's something with direction or you're not really seeing something clearly then you might have doubts about something and then you might have that discussion within yourself you know in the ego mind you know shall i shall i not uh, where to go with this uh, kind of feeling so <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> They're just closing in here. And that's why I'm feeling their presence. And so they're going to my throat chakra. Anyways, um, so I have a feeling that there might be some of you that's kind of lacking to see the clear path here or what, which direction to take. So, of course, then we are always encouraged to go within and feel or listen to our guidance to, to see if uh, we can get help from our team uh, finding the direction or to find out which choice to take <clears throat> but most definitely try and get out of our ego space at least but from from overall in all the other cards i see here there is great prosperity and abundance and possibilities and new possibilities coming into you so it's a matter of staying focused on um kind of having your eye on the ball here staying focused on what is being offered to you instead of focusing on what you are lacking I want to draw a couple of uh, more cards just at the end here to see what pops up as uh, end result. If we should follow the advice that we have now been given, uh, is there something else we should know? Oh, that's too many. Sorry, that was just me losing half, half of them. Okay, let's see here. Uh, oh, that was one that popped right out there. So I want to take that one. One more. Can I have one more, please? What else do we need to know? Or what will happen if we follow the advice? What's the path forward? Oh, come on. One more, please. Come on. One more, please. What can you tell us? Okay, this one. So let's see first this one. The Eight of Swords. Yes. And it's got something to do with the feeling over here that when you are indecisive and you don't know where to go, you're kind of feeling trapped. And that's what this card is. You're, you're feeling trapped in your own in your own head, kind of, or in or in the space where you don't know what, what direction to take. And then you might be that it, you have to leave something behind, which is this card here. Uh, also with the emotions again. That there might be something, someone or something that's not good for you and you need to just walk away from it, you know, and, and start focusing on 
what is giving you abundance and what is making you feel good and and keeping your eye on the ball which is this new beginning and these uh, prosperities here i mean what do you want in your life to see if you can focus on that see if you can focus on where you want to go and the offers that is being offered to you here see okay let's top this off with one more i feel like i'm not done here <laughs> it's always like this when you start and you get into it and it's like but i want to know more like there were three cards that just popped out here i have to take them actually four yes four of ones celebration most definitely ten of pentacles that's that's abundance and happiness with family and prosperity two of pentacles it's your choice See, where you focus, it's again, are you going to focus on the lack and what you cannot, you know, see all the abundance that's being offered to you? Or are you going to focus on the beginnings and the celebration? And the last card here is King of Cups. And King of Cups is someone who is in balance. He is um, full circle. He is on top of the game. He is, you know, he has conquered his his fears and his doubts and and he is sitting on his throne and um feeling good so again it's about your focus and it's about keeping your eye on the ball here and seeing what is being offered to you uh, see if you can find the silver lining in what's going on even if it should be something that you feel is negative at the moment and they're kind of promising you prosperity and and happiness going forward here if you choose to focus on the right thing right anyways that was a short little reading for you guys for the weekend i wish you the very best and uh, i will see you when i see you